let's see if that's focused on me. All right, there we go. So if you're like me, you've probably have watched the Halo TV show. I'm not gonna go in deep into it. If you ask me from the standpoint of a TV show, I think it's, it's not bad. The Halo TV show on Paramount Plus is actually not a bad show. But from the standpoint of a Halo TV show, I hate it. <laughs> it's, I don't like it at all. But I mean, I'm not a critic, so I'm not going to criticize it very much. I'm not going to go into deep depth about of what's wrong, what's good with that TV show. But uh, one topic I do want to hit on with this show is how they handled the Forerunner object or just the Forerunners in general. Uh, it's something that it just doesn't represent Halo. Uh, how they did it, it was just weird how Master Chief, when he touches the artifact, that he goes into like this weird stasis of communicating with a girl with what's her name? Not McKee. I forget the the girl's name in the show, the Covenant Lady. Like ah. <laughs> Nah, I don't like it. <laughs> it just—it's not Forerunner. It's not—it's not Halo. It's just, yeah. But when I watched the show, I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, okay, you know, like I see where they're going with it, and I mean, good for them. But if I was the one that was directing the show, like, how would I depict or showcase the Forerunner object? Like, what would what would communicate to the Halo fans? Like, this is Forerunner. Like and bring back that nostalgic feel of what we remember playing the Halo video games back when Halo 1, 2, and 3 came out and all those games. Like, when I played Halo 3, like, or not Halo 3, Halo Combat, Combat Evolved, like, it was so mysterious and just the forerunners that they depicted in that game was just so cool in my mind, like, in my opinion, like, it was just so cool. And as I watched the show, I was like, okay, like, how can I like what would make this TV show bring back that nostalgic feel of when I first played Halo Combat Evolved and exploring the Halo ring and just trying to understand like who were the forerunners, like who built these things. As I thought about that, I started to <laughs> I started to imagine like this really cool idea. And I mean, you guys are probably going to criticize me saying like, that's not Halo. But and to me, like I thought this would be a really cool idea. So taking a couple of ideas from Halo Wars, Halo Combat Evolved, and Halo 2, the way I would set this up is Madrigal would just get glassed. Like I want to see like the first opening scenes to show how powerful the Covenant really are and just show a Covenant cruiser or a massive Covenant ship just glassing Madrigal. And in this commotion, the UNSC loses contact with the planet and they don't know what's happening and so they send out a fleet to go find out what's happening. The fleet obviously gets destroyed, the UNSC starts freaking out and so they send in a massive battalion to go and attack this Halo cruiser that's destroying the planet. As obviously like the way I'll go with it is the Covenant would lose, humanity gets control of Madrigal again and as they go down to the planet to see the destruction they find that the Covenant were actually there because they discovered ruins or forerunner ruins that humanity had never known about. And so humanity, in this case, I'm thinking more like Silver Team, they're going down there to see exactly what it was that the Covenant found. And in those scenes, I thought this would be really cool, but do you guys remember in Halo Combat Evolved when we first land on the ring, and you hop in the warthog and you're driving around and there's that cheesy line that Cortana is like, this is not a natural formation. It's the cave, like that tunnel area you're going through. And I always thought that line was so cheesy. I'm like, no dirt, we're on a freaking ring that's <laughs> not naturally made. Of course this cave is gonna be <laughs> not naturally made. So yeah, so Master Chief and Silver Team, like they're down there, they discover this massive cave and they call the UNSC and say, hey, we need backup, we need to go see, we need equipment to go through this cave and find out what's in here. And to bring back that nostalgic feel of Halo 1, I thought it'd be cool that Silver Team gets on a warthog and they start driving through this tunnel, this massive forerunner tunnel. And as they're going through there, 
And like I said, this is like bringing back a play like from Halo Combat Evolved on that mission. But they're driving through and as they're exploring, they're just like, wow, like this, this place is massive. Like these tunnels are huge. And they come to this massive open room similar to like Combat Evolved. Do you remember that part with the light bridge? They go in there and it's just massive and there's a huge trench that's going down and it looks like it has no end to it. It's just bottomless. And in the center, like out in the distance of that trench, they see a, I don't want to say like a monolith or an object that's just floating, that's just sitting right there in the very center. And they don't know how it's sitting there. They obviously know it's not Covenant and they want Master Chief and Silver Team want to know exactly what is this object that the Covenant were trying to get to. And so the, you, <laughs> the UNSC is obviously there. They set up their science equipment trying to figure out how they can get out to this object that's just floating right there in the middle of the trench. And I thought it would just be interesting to kind of depict the light bridge, but a scientist accidentally was fiddling around and they knocked either a wire or they found a panel or just something and a light bridge turns on that leads out to this object that's floating right in the middle of the trench. Obviously people are like amazed by this, they don't know what's happening, they're just in awe. And so Master Chief, obviously being the leader, he walks across the light bridge and approaches this object. And this is like how I would depict the this uh, like you know on the t Halo TV show it's like this weird triangle thing with like a hole punched out and it's like a triangle donut <laughs> like the way I didn't like about the TV show is Master Chief grabs that the forerunner artifact and he turns into like he just goes into like just this weird conscious or higher conscious of the forerunners and like he starts seeing his history and background and everything like that and I would just get rid of that entirely. <laughs> what I would do is Master Chief approaches the object and he grabs it. And obviously like this thing scans him. So the object, the, the forerunner object realizes that he is a reclaimer and that he is someone that can access this object. And as Master Chief grabs it, it opens up. Do you like, the way I would explain it, so do you remember in Halo 2, when Miranda Keys is with Sergeant Johnson and they're on, I forget the mission, it's the one, it's the flood mission where it's snow and you're taking the, uh, um, oh shoot, I forgot what they're called. The part where Miranda Keys gets the activation index. Do you remember that mission? It's like the activation index is floating out in the middle of like this bottomless pit and she, Miranda Keys grabs a cable and she like jumps out and she grabs the activation index, very similar to that. So when Master Chief grabs this Halo artifact, it opens up and as it opens up a, a ball or something like that starts floating up and Master Chief grabs it and is like, he doesn't know what to do with it. It's, he doesn't go into this weird higher state of mind when he touches it. Like he just grabs it and he's like, okay, like I have this object and then that part that like opens up like falls down into the bottomless pit and Master Chief is now stuck with this ball or object, this foreigner object. And so he takes it back and as he's going across the light bridge, that's when like the Covenant show up and they start just bombarding the part where the UNSC is camped out in front of this forerunner um, tunnel or just the discovery that they found. And so Master Chief takes the object and he runs to Master Chief and his goal is to get, or <laughs> Master Chief runs to Halsey and his objective is to get Halsey out of there safe along with his team and any other surviving UNSC Marines. And from there, I mean, like you could go on about how Halsey takes that Forerunner object to reach and I think this could lead very well into remember in how in Halo Reach, Halsey and her archaeology team discover that uh, Forerunner object that's under the ice. The way I would go about is like that ball or object that Master Chief grabbed from Madrigal, Halsey takes it to that object on Reach and like that's where what activates 
that thing and Cortana and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, like, that's the way I would go with the show. But obviously, I mean, this is with my channel, I like to talk about 3D printing or creating products or anything like that. And so, as I came up with this idea, I was like, okay, like, what would a forerunner artifact or object look like? Like, if Master Chief went up and grabbed this thing that was floating in the middle of the trench, what would that look like? And so, that's what I want to go on about is designing, basically just replacing the Halo Paramount Plus forerunner artifact that weird triangle thing oh it's just so gross Ugh. <laughs> it's not forerunner i don't like it and so i just want to i want to replace that i want to put something else in there that feels a little more forerunner something that we can all like see like oh yeah i could see that being forerunner and obviously this is my thoughts my opinions on like how i would depict it i mean i'm sure you guys have your ideas of how you would change this artifact to look more forerunner but Anyway, I thought I would just get started with the process and see what, uh, what ideas I can come up with. So let's check it out. <laughs> 